the slide, uh, Bu Amel, please. Uh, the, huh? oh, why is not exist in my screen? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, wait for a moment, please. I guess. Okay. What happened to you? Uh, yeah, I couldn't see the slide presentation here. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm not sure. Mm, then let's try to check. Ah, okay. Okay, all right. Uh, and uh, uh, I guess all of you already follow the the script, yeah. Uh, Bu Amel already said with us, but wait. Uh, in the first slide first. Yeah, this still yeah okay. So this is uh the. the the main activity that will be run for today uh, together, yeah. So we have uh, two main activities. Uh, first for final project presentation, yeah. And then secondly, for closing ceremony of our Pitua Summer School program, yeah. Uh, Bu Amel, next. And then as we discussed uh, before, yeah, in the early stage of our Pitua Summer School uh, program, uh, in this session, uh, we will give a great opportunity for all participants within the group to present yeah, the final project that you've been prepared together uh, yeah, regarding to the natural product as well as the craft yeah, and uh, something that related to ethnochemistry yeah, derived from your own country. And then uh, here is the, the role for presentation. Uh, I saw from the video that you've been prepared, uh, mostly variable, yeah, the, the longest one around 10, 10 minutes, something, uh, 10, uh, 15 minutes, but anyway, it's not problem, yeah, it could be variable from 5 to 15 minutes. So we will uh, provide the time allocation following the video duration, yeah, for each group. And after that, uh, we would like to welcome uh, other participants, yeah, to give a comment or even uh, yeah, any uh, yeah, comment or questions related to the uh, video presentation, yeah? And then uh, the one who belong to that uh, group presentation uh, later on must be responsible, yeah, to reply uh, the question or even though the suggestion. And I do believe uh, everyone already submitted, yeah, the, the video, yeah, for presentation to our G Drive. And then, uh, during the presentation, yeah, just for your information, we would like to uh, ask your, your, how to say, your response, yeah, uh, to put your assignment uh, or assessment, yeah, or you, you put your peer assessment to uh, other group presentation, yeah. Uh, we provide already the link, so please kindly, uh, how to say, uh, copy the link, yeah, and prepare on your device. Or maybe Bu Mita and Bu Amel can copy the link and then put it in the chat room to be easier, yeah, for participants to follow. And it will be how to say uh, real time. For example, if the first group uh, present the project, then the the, the rest, yeah, uh, must participate, yeah, for this peer assessment. Okay. So please uh, later on so uh, in that part. And also another one is about. Uh, uh, Oh, it is missing for for the okay. And another one is about the feedback. Yeah, yesterday also we been received uh, gradually for the feedback. Uh, thank you so much for your great response. It's really wonderful and also amazing. Yeah, for us uh, and really touch. Uh, we really uh, happy. Yeah, to have your comment, your suggestion, even though your your idea for the future uh, Fitwa Summer School, yeah? Thank you so much for your sincere response, yeah? To our uh, feedback. For the one who hasn't yet posted uh, the response for the feedback, please also kindly report the link. Uh, I guess Bumita already copied the link and it would be available in the chat room. Okay, so I guess it's, it's already uh, five minutes left, 
then uh, let's everyone uh, we try this uh, session ya yeah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, very good morning to all of you uh, again uh, more than happy for us yeah to see you again uh, every single day <laughs> uh, through this uh, virtual summer school program now finally we come to the final stage of our program yeah and then as uh, we mentioned before so the activity for today will be consists of two main activity first for the final presentation yeah for your uh, project and secondly for the closing ceremony so let we move to the first uh, activity uh, which is the final uh, uh, project presentation yeah and then uh, for the uh, sequence, uh, which group that, that will uh, start the presentation in the beginning and following uh, by other group, I guess uh, to make it more fair, uh, we will try to, how to say, yeah, uh, to randomize, yeah. <laughs> uh, so everyone be ready, yeah, even I don't know who will be the first group, yeah, that will present the final project. And Bumita? Uh, uh, yeah, please uh, try to run uh, the the way how to to select the the group yeah to be present for today uh, final presentation. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, all right. So, uh, it started already, Bumita? Uh, not yet. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, everyone. Please get ready. Yeah, Bumita now will, uh, how to say, uh, turn on the program, yeah, to randomize uh, which one is the first group, yeah, uh, to be a uh, presenter. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Let's see. It's not up here. In the screen, is it all right? Okay, group five. Okay, is there any group five here? <laughs> group five. Hello, everyone. Who's belong to the group fifth here? Anyone here? Hello. Uh, Pahapi, maybe you can check in the how to say glass uh, classroom, Google classroom, to see uh, group five belong to. Oh, no one here belong to the group five. Hmm. Uh, okay, so no one, huh? Oh, Pepe, Pe, are you here? No one? Still not joined with us? And then? Nur Azika. Nur Azika, not yet. Uh, attend here and then pay pay also not here so yes in such case maybe we have to postpone for the fifth group Bumita. let's be uh, how to say uh, <laughs> uh, reply again yeah for the for the wheel yeah okay All right, now uh, we have group three. 
Who is the group three? Hello. Aisa, are you been here? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, so please, time is yours. For video, we can support you to start in our site, but if you want to, to present in, in your site, it's also very welcome. Uh, can I request to site? Sure, sure. Uh, like, uh, uh, what um, I guess you have the feedback, the back sounds, or uh, maybe you 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 turn on to devices. Uh, I cannot uh, play because I'm using my phone. Uh, ah, instead, I can see. you? Oh, sure, sure. Play. Sure. Okay, okay, <laughs> Sorry. We can we can play from our side. Okay. Okay. Okay, please. Uh, uh, hello, everyone. Uh, we are from Group uh, Three. Uh, we're going to present to you. Uh, um, the title of our video is uh, Exploring Tea in Malaysia, Vietnam, and Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So he is. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Uh, please wait. We have to uh, submit as well the audio. Yeah. I guess. Uh, oh, okay. Audio. Okay. Hi. Uh, Hi, everyone. So, uh, my name is Nur Atika. You guys can call me Ika. I am from Malaysia and I am studying in Malaysia. Uh, studying in Biology. I'm studying in Biology. Hello. Uh, my name is Fatin Fakir Betty Fadro Atul. People usually call me Fatin. So, I am from Malaysia and uh, study at University of Pushra, Malaysia. So, I study um, Bachelor of Science Chemistry with Horner. And that's all for me. My name is Aisha. Uh, currently, I'm taking the Certificate of Science in Chemistry at University of Malaysia at Malaysia. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Nen from Vietnam. My major is Environment Technology. Hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Ophelia. I'm from uh, Indonesian University. Hello, Hello. Hello. My major is Chemistry. Hi everyone, so my name is Nurhani Salvi you can do science in chemistry from University of Petra, Malaysia. Hi guys, so now it's time for Malaysia Tea. Malaysia's number one table offers tea lovers such a great quality tea with a unique character and robust flavor, yet versatile enough to be enjoyed in various Actually, one of the key features that contribute to the distinctive flavour of Tebo is the location of the tea plantations. So, Cameron Highlands Plantation at 5,000 feet above sea level, featuring a cool tropical climate, good balance between rainfall and sunshine, and lastly, the soil with an adequate level of acidity, making it an ideal place for growing tea, appreciating a total of 1,200 hectares of planted tea. This quality and freshness of each of both tea products were ensured through our continuous direct involvement in every aspect of the business. So the choice are cut are cut through and chosen and nurtured in nursery for nearly one year until they are ready for planting in the field. Then after two years Carefully, the bush forms into plucking, and then they reach a sufficient height for picking tea bushes, and then plucked about every three weeks, and they are ready to be harvested. The factories utilize a combination of traditional and modern methods to produce its own distinctive teams. For instance, our Summer Palace factory still uses principally the same machine as it did when Cameron Highland first opened in the 1930s. This factory has been designed using a highly innovative approach only used in a very few tea factories. The picked leaves then go through five basic processing stages, the first being withering process to reduce the moisture content and then allow the chemical changes to take place. Then after that they are rolled or crushed to break the leaf and release the natural juices. Next. The oxidation process takes place where the atmospheric oxygen reacts with the leaf and they will change the color during this stage. Then the character of the tea 
which is the flavor and aroma and the color are brought to the fore of the dish and then dried through machines to stop the fermentation process. It will crystallize the juice, then it is ready to be packed. Tebo, long heritage in the country, is highlighted by many certifications and awards in recognition of our commitment in producing the finest tea. In addition, the consistency, adherence to food safety regulation and attentiveness to international standards have made us the first tea company in the world to receive the ISO 22000 certification, the global standard for food for food safety management and also other certification. It has also a halal certified making it suitable for the multi-religious and multi ethnic demography of our consumers over the past decade. So this is Malaysia Tebo. Hi everyone. So Indonesia is the seventh tea producing country in the world. The provinces that produce the most tea in Indonesia are first is Swiss Java. Accounts for around 70% of national tea production. Second is Central Java, and the third is North Sumatra. Nearly half of Indonesia's tea production is exported abroad. Its main export markets are Russia, UK, and Pakistan. Types of tea in Indonesia based on how it is processed. So the first one is black tea. The process of processing tea leaves into black tea through withering, rolling, fermentation, and drying processes. The fermentation process in black tea processing makes black tea have a darker color, distinctive taste, and a stronger aroma than other teas. In the second, we have all along tea. This color difference is caused because in the manufacturing process, all along tea only undergoes a partial oxidation process. In the third, there is green tea. Green tea is taken from young tea leaf. The tea leaves that have been picked are wilted, enter the fixed stage or repair by heating method, then dry. Next, there is white tea. So, white tea has a clear color because the tea leaves used in making this tea are tea leaves. The younger the tea leaves are taken, the better the quality of the tea. Next, there is yellow tea. So, the yellow tea processing process began with the withering process of the tea leaves, entering the fixed stage or heating process, wrapping, and the last process is drying. Tea is a natural source of caffeine, terpene, and antioxidant with a level of fat, carbohydrates or protein close to 0%, polyphenols in the form of catechins and flavonols. The vitamins contained in the tea are vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Indonesian tea is known for having the highest content of catechins or natural antioxidants in the world, and most of Indonesia's tea production is black tea, and then followed by green tea. So here is the tea processing steps. The first one is picking, and then withering, oxidation, decoloration of green, yellowing, formation, drying, and maintenance.
words well, from first thing. Wonderful! It's excellent. Wow, amazing, amazing. Especially in the final part, yeah, uh, we've been how to say exposed with a very exotic tea from from Vietnam, yeah, from Malaysia, maybe almost similar with our tea, but from Vietnam, uh, some flowers inside, yeah, and also uh, the variety of tea, a kind of crowl, something very, very. How to say? Just imagine if we have that tea today in our room, yeah. Can hardly waiting yet to try. Thank you so much. Very excellent presentation. So everyone, uh, thank you, Naratika and friend. Very thank glad you. for your final presentation. Uh, but again, we would like to welcome other participants. If you have any question or comment for the group three presentation, so please. You can turn on your uh, microphone or even though you can post yeah, uh, your comment in the chat. So, uh, Noratika, maybe you can share a little bit to us how uh, did you do the preparations with the, within the group uh, since the, the member of your group is quite viable yeah, from Malaysia, from Vietnam, as well as from Indonesia. It's such, uh, how to say, the great collaboration, I guess, yeah. Uh, yes, um, actually, uh, to be really honest, we only managed to gather everyone in the group uh, three days or four days before oh. uh, the due date. <laughs> because um, actually, we thought that we are going to submit the video uh, before last midnight. <laughs> because we are going to um, show it today. But then after we check the uh, schedule, we are supposed to send it uh, on the 25th. Mm -hmm. So um, we managed to uh, gather and have an emergency meeting in the Zoom and then um, discuss um, briefly to um, do the um, project. And thank thankful because um, my teammates are very cooperative even though we have different time zones, but we managed to get the also uh, to record and also to do the video. Yeah. Okay, so that actually the target, yeah, for our project, yeah, to be delivered for all of you. Then finally, you have the great engagement each other, and you can present very wonderful, yeah, very how to say, ex exciting in my opinion. Thank you so much for sharing uh, the information, especially about your specialty, yeah, from Vietnam, from Malaysia. It's, uh, I guess it's, it's really great knowledge for us, yeah? especially from many difficulty from Vietnam. Hope someday we will have the great opportunity to try directly. Yeah? Okay, everyone. Oh, thank uh, you. Yeah, for the comment to the group three, yeah, uh, most of uh, all of participants, uh, I guess, uh, agree with my opinion. It's, it's really great idea, uh, video and as well, I guess, uh, so awesome, yeah, marvelous, very, very nice, very nice. The information clear, as, as well, the, how to say, the the very typical information also from each uh, country also can be delivered very well. So uh, if you don't have any comment, uh, let me give a big applause again for the group three. Congratulations, yeah, great job, great job. And then now let me move to another group. And Bumita will play again the wheel. Uh, let's see everyone who will be the next. Please, Bumita. Okay. So we can remove group three, right? <laughs> You ready, everyone? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which group, Bumita? Group nine. So, uh, group nine, who will be the presenter? All of, uh, what to say, uh, the group member, or will be 
uh, is there any information for the group nine who met up who's the member of the group nine uh, just in case they Nurul Nurul Safika are you there Safika yes and then who else uh, Natasha Nur Aina Natasha Mazran and then Putri uh, yes yes yeah are you ready for your presentation yes we are ready okay so time is yours please the video would like to share from our side or from your computer which one do you prefer not putri uh bumita do you have the file oh, okay maybe we can share from our side just in case they have any difficulties yeah for the display the video. okay uh before we start the video just in case uh, the group member has uh, something for introduction so please very welcome oh, please wait hello Safika putri Noor. Hello. I do hope that you, you have no, how to say, uh, any problem, yeah, for the connection. Putri, are you there? Uh, yes. I'm <coughs> sorry. There? Okay, so please, uh, if you have any introductions for your final projects, uh, please uh, deliver your introduction before <clears throat> we start yeah, your video. So uh, our present is about uh, Malaysian traditional pottery, which is about Labu Sayong, which mm -hmm. famous in Perak, Malaysia. So I hope everyone enjoy our simple video. <laughs> That's all. Okay. Okay, so let me see what is the final project of group nine. Please.
very very nice so uh nur and friends in the group nine uh the the typical handicraft i guess yeah uh it's come from a certain location certain part of malaysia or you can find this kind of handicraft in all region of malaysia uh, hello hi sorry my mic wasn't working uh just now mm -hmm. okay um for your question okay this kind of pottery actually um uh, is commercialized from the 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 place called sayong in perak malaysia so basically it's only available there uh the name sayong is from the river called uh from the river yes sayong so the, the clay soil is collected at the river so the river is called sayong river uh, mm -hmm. located at the kuala Gansa, perak malaysia mm -hmm. so basically the people uh there collected the collected the clay soil and then uh, they commercialize the potteries from the clay soil and name it as Labu Sayong. I see. So Sayong correspond to the to the raw material, right? Type of raw material that been used. No, uh, it's a it's place. a river. Oh, the river name. Yeah, the river name. Ah, so the clay soil is from the river Sayong River. I so see. So people they collected and then they make it into a clay paste and then make the potteries out of it. I see, I see. So a very typical riper, yeah? Uh, that really, how to say, a potential to have the raw material, yeah? Yes. And and the interesting things uh, on your video, uh, even it's very useful to store water, especially to to have or to prepare maybe the cold water for the one who, who got sick or something like that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, could you yeah. explain that? Traditionally, uh, people people use the labu sayong or the water pitcher to store water in it. So it can be said that the water uh, stored in the water pitcher is usually colder than the usual usual water. Like uh, before back in the days, we don't have the water cooler or you know anything to cool the water. So traditionally, they use the mm -hmm. Labu sayong uh, to store the water. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, since since the materials may be made of clay, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, that, that is the the certain how to say interaction, yeah, that make the water temperature getting cooler than the atmosphere temperature. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, very, very typical. In mm -hmm. Indonesia, we call it uh, grabah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And kendi oh, in nice. bahasa Jawa. Uh, that also has the same function, yeah. Oh. Very, very typical. So okay. maybe in the next virtual summer school, you can add on the garaba. Yeah, sure, sure. We have actually yeah. many spots for uh, how to say uh, uh, factories for pottery uh, that uh, how to say spread out in especially in the Java Island, yeah. In in West Java, we have in uh, area around Padalarang. As well as move to uh, how to say Puakata uh, over there, yeah, and also move to the central Java. Also, we have some pottery, and yeah, I guess uh, we have also a different variety of the potteries that would be uh, how to say great, yeah, if we can share later. Uh, thank you for your great suggestion. Maybe we will note it, yeah, for one of the topic that would be delivered. In the... Okay, thank you very much, teachers. Okay, so any other group member would like to add the uh, presentation? Or uh, we also welcome to other participants, yeah. And please don't forget to put your peer assignments, yeah, for group uh, nine. Yeah, it, it's really nice. And actually, for the music, uh, it's also very also familiar for us. That's a typical music from in, in our country from uh, Sumatra, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure the the name of of the music, but yeah, very 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 similar, very very exotic, yeah. <laughs> Hello, doctor, can you hear me? Oh sure, sure. Uh, Please. I want to add some point. Um, mm -hmm. uh, our logo Sayo display it displays some fine design, as you can see based on the video. Um, the fine design we are inspired by uh, our Malaysian traditional and culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, as you can see, 
uh, on the, the process, uh, the, the design uh, based on local flower like uh, bunga tanjung, bunga pecah, and also we also mm -hmm. add some spice design. The mm -hmm. small, small design, if uh, we can see it in real, in real life, it is like a clove, flower and nice, and we also add some, sometimes um, our, I, um, I don't know nowadays, uh, modern people still use it or not because mm -hmm. we have a refrigerator, right? Mm -hmm. But if uh, we go to our, like our grandmother, mm -hmm. a house, uh, they mm -hmm. still have it. Uh, they still have it. Um, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. They store, okay. still store water in there. Sometimes when we are fermented something, mm -hmm. we are fermented in that labu sayong. Oh. Uh, the, te the texture of the fermented uh, spice or whatever, it will give, um, what I can see is the taste, it will be much better, uh, mm -hmm. more delicious, I think. Like mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. The labu sayong, uh, that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, very very typical. Yeah, in in Indonesia case, okay, sometimes for the bigger one, the bigger pottery, uh, uh, we not only use it for uh, water storage, but as well for how to say rice. Yeah, rice storage. So sometimes if we if we have the paddy and then yeah we we put the process after that yeah we put there for long term uh, storage. Yeah, that also good. Yeah, to avoid any. Uh, how to say microorganism yeah <laughs> to attack the rice and sometimes due to the storage uh, apa conditions yeah the uh, we, we cannot avoid uh, any any modification yeah due to the microorganism activities on the rice so that's also very very good uh, the other thing that I'm really curious is about the final process yeah on on preparing that handicraft that pottery uh, on the video you show uh, us a kind of typical sand, but maybe really how to say the temperature is uh, quite hot, yeah. Uh, to to make the the final process on the pottery, can you explain about that? About the baking process? Yeah, the baking process. Uh, they have two method, I guess, from the video. Uh, they they oh, yeah. have the special furnace, but another one just. How to say beam it in the soil or how to say sand, but uh, I guess that the hot sand, right? Ah yes, the hot sand. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So just um, firstly mm -hmm. they, they they bake it in the uh, furnace and then they bake another time in the sand to make oh. the color become black. Uh, oh, yeah. I see, I see. Uh, did you know uh, how how the temperature is it? I don't uh, know how. <laughs> I don't know how. Uh -huh. how the exact temperature but mm -hmm. i guess it's quite high yeah i i guess over 100 yeah oh uh, yeah probably yeah yeah because the yeah yeah but anyway very interesting process yeah, uh, yeah. even though still traditionally yeah processes okay thank you uh everyone do you still have any comment to group nine presentation all right so thank you so much for uh, uh, the members of group nine and let uh, give the big applause for them very nice yeah and very great uh, we have another information uh, about something that very typical uh, from malaysia yeah uh, labu sayong uh, later on maybe one time we have opportunity to visit uh, malaysia yeah uh, we will try to find yeah where is Labu Sayong. <laughs> Thank you. And then next, we still have uh, the uh, the other groups. So Bu Mita, uh, please play again the wheel, yeah, to check who will be the next presenter. Okay, are you ready, guys? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, group nine already removed, yeah. Okay. Well, well, still more. <laughs> All right, group, group four. Yeah. Okay. So the group four member uh, is 
Okay, so the group four. Yeah, group four. Uh, 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 Dennis, already here? Leon Wang Wanti? Nur Amira? Muhammad Faiz? Maiti? Are you ready? Hello. Okay. For the member, for the member of the group four, are you there? And ready for presentation? Okay, let me check from the attendance list here for participants. Uh, I'm not sure that been here for the group four, Bumita. Ah, oh, I see. So in such case, if uh, yeah, very unfortunate, yeah. Uh, but anyhow, uh, later on, maybe after other group presentation, if you would like to enjoy other final group project, we can share for you, yeah, uh, in the uh, final uh, stage of this uh, presentation, yeah. So uh, first, maybe we can move to to other group, Bumita, that been present here. Yeah, uh, we we postpone for the group for presentation. So let me move to the other group. Okay, let me try. Okay, group seven. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Since you uh, already ready. <laughs> okay. The the group seven. Uh, Afrina, Nur Amira, Nur Shazani. Yeah. And then uh, what? Who else? Oh, why you move there? For the group. Uh, and then Zuraida and also Nur Najiha. Okay. Uh, are you ready for the presentation? Uh, yes. Okay. So we, we will support you for uh, displaying the video in our site, okay? If you have any introduction for your video, no, Najia, so please, time is yours. So, um, hi everyone. So this um, video is um, mainly for, uh, we, we want to share about um, our national dream of data rates, so I hope that you all enjoy our video. Okay, thank you, Narna Jiha, for kind introduction. So everyone, here is the final project of Group Four. Oh,
Yay! Test tarik. I love it. <laughs> so anyway, the the thing that I'm still curious with teh ti, uh, teh tarik. Why it's called teh tarik? Because we prepare like this, or is there yeah. any story behind? Uh, so uh, as the video said that before that um, the teh tarik is originally originated from the um, Indian Muslim that uh, immigrants. So when the firstly uh, during the Malacca Empire, they uh, prepared the teh tarik. It's using by the poor. So like um, mostly like um, people around that time is using Malay language. So they they call that that thing is as the uh, oh teh tarik. So that's the uh, in the story of the. Is there any relation or Najiha? Uh, for example. The longer we tarik the tea, uh, ah. the more tasteful. <laughs> For the um, actually, Any research um, proved that. <laughs> so, like, uh, Malaysian here, like, you for making like tea we don't stir. Like, if we stir, it just like look very normal. So, if we tarik, the longer the tarik is like, uh, even look more attractive, and especially the bubble. It looks like well, very yummy. Uh, it's like that. Yeah, I see. So the 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 tarik uh, method, uh, actually to introduce more bubble, yeah. Mm. On, and on also, the... um, the preparation of the tea tarik has become like, like a cultural art, especially for the the one who like always preparing tea tarik is in Malaysia is like at kedai mama. Kedai mama is popularly for the um Indian Muslims. So um so there's a video part of the video where there a contest of preparation yes, of yes, the diary. Yes, yes. Yeah, we enjoy it. So th that contest is so attractive in in my opinion. Yeah, everyone mm. can see with many style <laughs> how to tarik the tea. Yeah, <laughs> very very attractive, very attractive. And in in Indonesia mostly we just consume for from the instant teh tarik. <laughs> Uh, because we don't have kedai mama here, yeah. So we just bought from the supermarket. Yeah, it's called already teh tarik. Some uh, actually already imported from Malaysia, but yeah, again. Anyhow, maybe the best way is the the how to say the fresh teh tarik, yeah, that prepared by the skillful <laughs> in the kedai mama, yeah, skillful person in kedai mama to prepare that. And uh, do you have any information how, if we would like to prepare teh tarik? Uh, uh, what is the best composition between, uh, I guess, milk, right? Um, milk and the my, tea itself. Yeah. My grandfather used to prepare teh tarik, like he has uh, a story before. So he used to prepare teh tarik in front of me. So, um, like, um, we use the, um, what's called like the book? Um, um, you, uh, like, how can I can I speak a bit of Malay? <laughs> no problem, no problem. Okay, so um, like the usual at the restaurant, like we use the serbo one, not the in unchang. I see, I see, uh, I see. So they were prepared in the serbo because the serbo one tastes more like more concentrated, like more sedap, like more delicious than the unchang one. I see. So the the, um, the tea powder, just put it in the hot water, and then uh, you stir it. Uh, no, we have like um, we we have like uh, equipment that oh. like filters it, like we store I it. I see, I see, I see. Uh, and then we put the hot water, okay. and then we uh put like two spoons, two three spoons of um we, um sweetened cream, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna tarry it. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, for Indonesian who wanted to try to prepare your own teh tarik, let's we do it after this session. Yeah, <laughs> uh, later on we can chat nor nor Najiha yeah for the special trick <laughs> how to prepare the delicious <laughs> teh tarik. Thank you. It's very uh, how to say uh, a great video. Yeah, uh, then yeah we really enjoy it, especially the festival. I really curious yeah to see directly. <laughs> The festival within the people, uh, how to say, prepare teh tarik within the group, yeah, with the different style, yeah, very interesting. And maybe later on will be the championship of teh tarik, <laughs> teh tarik competition <laughs> in Malaysia, I guess. <laughs> okay, uh, any other comment or uh, additional information from other group member? I want to add something about the music. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
like the background music that we use in the video. So like some of the comments said that uh, it's like similar to the Rabana music in Indonesia. Actually, mm. the title of the background music is Dapin Bunga Hutan. So it was like uh, the, the song is for the traditional dances called Dapin. And I believe this uh, Zapin also familiar in Indonesia. Too. Yes, 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 yes. We knew that. Uh -huh. That's typical. How to say? Uh, we call it uh, budaya Melayu, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Pada, budaya. Yeah, the, the 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 typical instrument. Uh, I guess as well been used, yeah, for preparing that one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this uh, Nur Atika also give the comment. Yeah. I'm not sure if nowadays the young generation of Malaysia has the great skill as, as similar to the Kedai Mama. What do you think, Nuraziza? <laughs> Everyone here from Malaysia, do you have any great skill to prepare teh tarik like your senior <laughs> in Kedai Mama? Not all of us, but we have to practice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess this that's very how to say very unique. Uh, yeah, uh, Malaysian government need to consider yeah how to to deliver uh, this kind of uh, great heritage yeah from Malaysia to to protect until the the next generation yeah everyone can keep the great skill yeah to prepare. Otherwise, everyone will move to instant teh tarik yeah. <laughs> Just put it in the glass and then <laughs> put the the hot water. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes, uh, sometimes that is the reason that we always go for mama stall rather than making our own. <laughs> yeah, because we cannot prepare as delicious as them. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that, that's right. Yeah, kedai mama always how to say memorable. Yeah, and really miss. Yeah, I many time uh how to say. Uh, uh, had a great opportunity yeah, to travel in separa region of Malaysia. Uh, the first thing that I, I usually do is looking for kedai mama, yeah, to have a, a teh tarik, one of them, yeah. Okay, yeah, hidup mama, yeah, <laughs> hidup kedai mama. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess so many comments in the chat room, yeah. Uh, if you don't have any other comment for the group uh, four, right? A group, I forgot, this is group, group seven. So we uh, we can yeah we can move to the next group. But before we give the opportunity for the next group to present, let we give uh, the big applause for Group Seven. Yeah, thank you so much for beautiful video. Yeah, <laughs> for beautiful information. Yeah, we love Teh Tarik. So please send our best regard for Kedai Mama. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Bumita, let's we try to move to another group. Uh, we still have several groups yeah, here. And then, all right, group 11. Group 11. And the group 11 member is uh, group 11. We have here Anissa. Oh, this uh, UPI group, yeah. Okay, UPI group, we are looking forward to your presentation. Uh, Anissa, Rifa, and then who else? Uh, Trisha, Nazmia. Nazmia, okay. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Trisha, Rifa, <laughs> Nazmia. Okay, do your best, please. Time is yours. Okay, so we will be... Mm -hmm. Opening the presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, we can support you for the video presentation just in case you have uh, how to say any introductions to your final project. So please, you can deliver it now. Okay, thank you, uh, Ms. Itri. Well, everyone, uh, my name is Anissa Mustika and my team member is Trisha Audria Rifa and Najmiya. We're from UPI and today we're going to present you Payam. Payam is one of Indonesian special food and it comes from West Java. It made from fermented cassava. So hope you enjoy the video. Mm -hmm. 
poem ya this yeah, poem. Is typical from kasapa fermentation alcoholic fermentation is done by some types of yeast. So first glycolysis happens, which yields two net ATP, two pyruvate, and two NADH. Now we need this step to regenerate the NAD plus so we can keep doing glycolysis. The two pyruvate is used, which will ultimately produce carbon dioxide and two ethanol alcohol. But the derivative of pyruvate shown here, acetaldehyde, can act as an electron acceptor in this process. So the 2NADH can be oxidized to 2NAD+, so that glycolysis can start all over. Since alcohol is a waste product in this process, this is why many yeasts are used to produce alcoholic products. Yeast also
All right, Peyem Bandung. Ya, yeah. uh, sometimes actually uh, because it's really how to say always connected with Bandung City. Ya, yeah, even though the native not from Bandung but from Purwakarta region, uh, we sometimes make a joke. Ya, yeah? uh, if someone some visitor come to Bandung, did you try Peyem Bandung? Uh, sometimes Peyem. Be, uh, make it longer become perempuan because perempuan mean <laughs> perempuan means girl ya yeah, woman and then sometimes ya peyem peyem ya very yeah uh, i'm not sure if the malaysian visitor of uh, or other foreigner ya yeah, uh, been trying this uh, our actually very typical and local food ya yeah, that we been prepare And actually, I have my style how to enjoy payam, not uh, prepare to be a cholena or other product, but I just put the payam, yeah, uh, with the ice cream. You can try; it's really delicious. So you just prepare the bread, yeah, and then put the uh, slice of payam, and then on the top you put ice cream and eat together. Uh, you can try; very uh, good, yeah, very good. <laughs> I'll try it next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can try. That's very good. Uh, okay. <laughs> For you, Bandung. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other group member would like to add the presentation uh, content? Oh, yeah. Very welcome to other participants, especially from Malaysia, from Philippines, from Vietnam. If you have any curiosity for our local food. Another type of Oh ya, yeah. this is Sopi Alawia, Miss. Oh ya. Yeah. So yeah. There is another type of payam, namely payam ketan. Maybe uh, payam actually means uh, comes from uh, di perem ya payam. It's Sunda. Yeah, it means we keep it yeah, for certain yeah. time ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it means uh, fermented ya, yeah, being fermented. So there are many type of Payam, there are payam. Uh, what we present is fermented cassava, but there are also another payam made from ketan. Uh, ketan is yes, sticky rice. Mm -hmm. And another. I, I guess on your first part of your video, you show it already to us, yeah. Uh, payam yes. ketan. Then again, in in my best experience, the way how to to consume payam ketan, uh, you can make with the ice cream. Very good. <laughs> That is, was very good. Yeah, just uh, yeah. Even sometimes, yeah, we mix with with how to say with uh, with uh, other food. Yeah, to to make it more more delicious. Yeah. And yeah, later may you give the title of the song. <laughs> Do you know Anisa the title of the song? So actually that the Muhammad Nazib, that actually the Sundanese song, right? Uh, the title is Payam Bandung. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if, if I may translate, uh, how to say the lyric of the that song is actually describe how wonderful Payam Bandung, yeah. The taste is wonderful. The way how to prepare is very simple, yeah, and it's very typical from from uh, our region. And then uh, in the lyric also it mentioned one time you try uh, Payam Bandung, you will miss again, yeah, to to come back to Bandung. <laughs> so it it to to express how delicious, yeah, uh, yeah. that food is, yeah. And the way how to present actually very very simple as shown by the video. We just use the yeast, yeah. Of course, the cassava must must be clean first, yes. yeah, without any uh, other impurities because yeah, it will be uh, how to say led to the fermentation process, yeah. Only two days, yeah. Uh, that's really correct. Uh, we just keep it after uh, addition of the yeast, and later on, yeah, we can. Uh, be ready to consume that, yeah. Yes. If yes, if a Malaysian visitor or foreigner come to Bandung City, actually we have the special spot in Bandung City. We call it Siham Plus, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Uh, like the shopping center, not shopping center, but shopping area, especially for blue jeans, for leather, and other 
uh, how to say a typical crabs from our city and then uh, along the way of Cihampla Street you can find easily Payum Bandung yeah <laughs> that can be sell directly but I'm not sure if it can be kept longer yeah or for example over three days or something because yeah the fermentation yeah still uh, how to say uh, proceed yeah during uh, how to say uh, the 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 process so uh, the best way is uh, usually in the cellar we just both uh, just the fresh fermented and then please directly consume yeah uh, i'm not suggested longer than two days or something you still consume that yeah maybe the alcohol content is too much or even <laughs> it's already converted to another product yeah yeah, yeah. just worry uh, after you consume that then you suddenly got dizzy yeah due to the <laughs> alcohol content <laughs> yeah. and maybe it's not halal anymore yeah <laughs> it's not halal anymore later on if you got drunk due to the poem consumption okay uh, anisa still you have any comment from Muyan? please uh, please reply his uh, question or his comment. It's so clear with the illustration. I, I can get it. It's also in Vietnam. We use banana leaf to wrap traditional snake. Ah, nom, nom, nom. Yeah. But uh, just your information, you know, uh, nowadays uh, the banana leaf is getting precious in our country. Yeah, the price getting increased. So we can see in many uh, restaurants, yeah, for example, nasi padang and so on, even they know yeah, a little bit modified. Uh, usually they wrap up the food by uh, banana leaves, but since yeah, it's getting uh, more expensive, <laughs> uh, even now they move to the, how to say, uh, the ar artificial food wrapping, yeah, from uh, how to say paper and, and other varieties. Yeah. Sometimes also when we use the banana leaf, we can get the, how to say, great smell, yeah, a little fresh smell from the banana leaf. Yeah, that, that's very great. Do you have uh, the similar uh, food product like payam in Vietnam, Nguyen? Or in Malaysia? Please say your information to us. Maybe the name is not payam, I, I do believe, yeah? But <laughs> you have the typical uh, word, yeah, for this kind of product. Oh, oh, in Malaysia, you don't have. How about the payam from sticky rice, Najib? I, I been try in in Pahang. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, tape, betul. Yeah, Nur Najiha, that's right, tape. Uh, in our Bahasa, we call it tape. T-A-P-E, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Trang, how about your experience, Trang? Did you have as well the, the similar, the typical food like the one that just presented? I think uh, the sticky rice in it mean the soy in Vietnam. Soy. Soy. Ah, uh -huh. I see, I see. And how uh, uh, could you share to us uh, the way how you you consume uh, that sticky rice? In our case, especially in Hari Raya, yeah. Uh, in every home, if we visit each other, yeah, everyone. Not only prepare the cookies, yeah, lebaran cookies or something, but as well payum. Payum is very typical, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and in 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 Indonesia mostly the taste, yeah, sweet, yeah. The taste uh, must be sweet, especially from the sticky rice, yeah, tape, very sweet. And yeah, please follow my suggestion. Try it with ice cream. It's very delicious. It's very delicious. My favorite. <laughs> I'm not sure the sugar content, but yeah, we forgot for a moment, yeah? Just enjoy <laughs> the tape and ice cream. <laughs> okay, still any comment or question? No more? Okay, so let's give the big applause, yeah? Let's uh, give the big applause for the group uh, 11. Yeah, Anissa, Trisa, thank you so much for your, uh, what to say, uh, great job, yeah? We enjoy the video and also the song, yeah, really miss it. Uh, in, 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 in our region, especially when we come to the wedding ceremony, yeah, that song, yeah, quite familiar, yeah, to be, uh, to be sung, yeah, by the singer in the wedding ceremony. 
Thank you. Uh, uh -huh. You also mild cassava and make it for cake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, similar, here uh, we have also many variety of food product, yeah, uh, made from cassava. Uh, yeah, it can be uh, the raw material for cake or even though for other food products, yeah. Yeah, since uh, I do believe in most uh, Asian region, we really enrich with the, uh, which the, how to say, uh, our biodiversity, yeah. One of them is cassava. I guess cassava can be planted easily yeah, in any season, in any region. <laughs> and in Southeastern Asia, I, I, I do believe yeah, it would not be so difficult yeah, for the cassava plantation. That's why we can take a great opportunity yeah, to convert it to be uh, many variety of the product. Okay, Teresa, Anissa, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. And this is the good way how to promote Bandung yeah, in other way. Uh, uh, with the poem, yeah. So everyone, if you miss Bandung, please remind you <laughs> with the poem Bandung, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you 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 will have the great opportunity, yeah, in the near future, or oh, try it. Okay, thank you, Muyan. Thank you, Din. Uh, Trang. Thank you, Nur. Thank you, Najib, for your great comment. Okay, let's we move to another group. Uh, Bumita now playing again the wheel. So still uh, five groups here uh, remaining. Ah, again, come back to the group four. I'm not sure uh, the, if the group member already joined again with us or still in the class. Uh, anyone from the group four here? No? Uh, Yes, but he's not a student. <laughs> All right. In such case, let we try to move to another group. Uh, Bumita, for a moment, maybe you can remove group four. <laughs> oh, ah, whose group this one? <laughs> Just in the middle. Oh, little bit move to the group six. <laughs> Very fortunate for the group six. So the group six member is uh let we see here uh this week gilang yeah some of oh, most of uh oh, all participants come from indonesia yeah but uh, they come from different institutions from upi from garut university and also from speakers so uh hana shinta and friends are you there and ready for your presentation Hello, Gilang. And who else? Uh, no one? No one here? Uh, yeah. So actually, just for your information, for international participants, uh, today is actually the national holiday in Indonesia, yeah? Due to the Maulid Nabi, yeah? for uh, Maulid Nabi as well as for uh, Yacht Day, yeah, for the Yacht Day. So, yeah. So, in such case, if no participant from the group six, let me try to move. Bumita, maybe you can remove, yeah, Happy Yacht Day, yeah. Uh, Selamat Hari Pemuda. Uh, Okay, we, we try to move the, the group that uh, the member yeah, not uh, present here. And then, yes, group five, no doubt, group five, very clear. <laughs> so the group five is, the group five member is uh, Wong, and then Lee, and then who else here? Uh, Agnes, I'm not sure if they still have uh, a class today. Uh, and also Agnes. And one participant from Indonesia, yeah, the rest uh, from University, University Putra Malaysia. I'm a bit worried if they still have a class. I'm not sure if the we can, how to say, can represent, yeah. Uh, Debbie, are you here? Not available, yes. So very unfortunate, yeah. Uh, and then let me try to check another group, Bumita. Uh, but 
yeah, in the final step, yeah, we can present uh, the rest of the video, yeah, that just been prepared by other groups, even though they not, uh, how to say, attend, yeah, the meeting today. Group eight, group 10, group eight, group 10. Uh, the possibility is, of course, 50%. Okay, group eight. Who is the member of the group eight? Uh, the group eight is, yeah, uh, Najib, I, I, I do believe he's there. And yes, also, yes. Okay. So, uh, do you have any introductions for your presentation? Uh, okay, so basically the presentation is about so okay. Uh, this is one of the attire for any occasion, especially on wedding or the swan of the king. Mm -hmm. So later I will show the video. That's all the introduction. Enjoy the vi video. Basically, it's, it's a slide, the slide presentation. Okay, Not please. Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very uh, good evening to the, everyone. So uh, now we as a group from the University of Putra Malaysia and have a five member. Uh, the first one is me, Muhammad Nazir bin Ahmad Naik. The, the second one is Siti Hajar, Nur Alisha Sarwana, Nadia Kade, and Alisha Shakira. So today uh, we want to present you about Malaysia Songke. Uh, so this is the assignment, the final project for the virtual summer school program, Ethnochemistry in Indonesian Natural Product and Craft. Uh, this summer school program is organized by Department of Chemistry, Chemistry Education, Indonesia University of Education. Okay, let us start the presentation. Okay. okay. So I will pass to uh, Haja for history of Songket. Okay, so firstly I will explain what is Songket. Songket is a fabric that belongs to brocade family of textile of the Malay world today, which are for Indonesia, Malaysia, Brunei, Singapore, and Southern Thailand. It is hand woven in silk or cotton and intricately patterned with gold or silver threads. Uh, the songket word comes from Malay word which is sungket that means to hook. It has something to do with method of songket making, to hook and pick a group of threads and then slip the gold and silver threads in it. So this is the history of songket. Firstly, songket has high historical value as special Malay style original art fabric. Terengganu weaver believe that songket weaving technique was introduced to Malaysia from India through Sumatra, Palembang, and Jambi, where it probably originated during the time of Srivijaya, which is 7th to 11th century. It is also understood that Songket has been famous in Malaysia since 15th century, where the arrival of traders to Malaya has intensified the development of local weaving. Uh, this uh, Songket weaving has grown rapidly, especially in East Coast states such as Terengganu, Kelantan, Pahang. Songket, uh, the meaning of Songket is to lift the dignity of the wearer and also it symbolizes a person's position. This uh, Songket weaving is undertaken by those that live in coastal areas and those that are exposed to external influence compared to the single woven yarn operated by residents living in remote areas. So this is the history of Songket in Malaysia. Okay, so the materials for the songket is, the material is songket production, are uh, very important because they will influence the quality of the songket. Basically, the materials for making songket usually consist of cotton or seed threads. Other, fi other fibers can also be used as the base fabric and the decoration threads are usually made from gold, silver, or silk threads. Although the quality of the songket can be influenced by the type of material used, some people would still prefer songket that are made with a cheaper yarns, as the cheaper gold and silver yarns are usually lighter. This is due to the demand for a lightweight fabric 
for the wearer's comfort. Okay, so the manufacturing process for song cake. Uh, so they are basically uh, eight step, which is uh, coloring tray, tracking tray, treating, rolling, punching, landing, tapering, clipping, and waving. So this is all the specific name for the process. So for the step one, yarn coloring. So woven yarn consists of cotton yarn, silk yarn, and gold yarn, and also silver yarn. Uh, gold thread and silver thread are naturally ingredient uh, that need the, that doesn't need to be colored. So the crack row yarn repeatedly. So uh, yarn repeatedly. So the color are not faded and evenly. Uh, the yarn is inserted into the crater containing boiling water. Then the thread is uh, rinsed with water and then dry up to dry. And then uh, next is the bending thread. So the dry thread will be inserted into a tool that called a mess to be played on a tool called uh, pelleting. Uh, this process is called as scattering. Uh, the, there are two types of shark, uh, namely Darwin feed and gold Darwin. So Darwin feed are used only for feed yarn and it is made of bamboo or rope or rattan. Uh, Darwin gold is uh, only used for gold, uh, gold thread and is made of wood or wire because of the rough and heavy gold thread. And then for the wear yarn, uh, the thread that have undergo the process of splitting are inserted into the tooling to determine the length of the thread to be loaded on these two. So the length of losing thread will be determined the amount of fabric sheet that will be woven. So usually rolls of uh, feet yarn are sewn or sewn kit uh, measuring 26 to uh, 31 cm can produce about 12 to uh, 14 pieces of fabric. And then rolling yarn. So the molded yarn will be rolled on the roll board according to the width of the gear tooth, uh, gear tooth and then the long loser. The specified width will be determined the size of the fabric uh, produced. Uh, the yarn position should be checked every three times to ensure the smooth uh, arrangement. And then um, step five, which is blow yarn. So uh, trimming is the process of inserting loose thread into the gear or brush. Usually this process is done in the cake to make it easy to tuck the yarn into the machinery. So each brush hole is uh, is stained with two veins of lotus thread. At both ends of the brush is four spun thread so that the edge of the clothes are not torn when attached to the fabric. The clothes cover is a wooden child with nail on both ends. The clothes cover keep the edge of the woven cloth to be equally uh, to be equal to the distance and does not split. Uh, and then we have running yarn. So the work uh, and that uh, and during this process, um, the amount of corrosion used is used uh, is used uh, about two carat or each carat which has four sticks of wood and then carat will be carried out when losing thread was lifted up and this weaving process make thread uh, cross with a uh, foreign uh, thread and then we have uh, uh, and then for the second last pro, uh, process which is uh, menyong kit yarn so uh, Nyongkit yarn is a process where uh, flowering, uh, where we design the pattern using the uh, bamboo square or nibong blades uh, on the desired yarn. So uh, usually uh, the they will be used uh, two technique, which is three pointed technique or five pointed technique. And then lastly, waving yarn. So waving yarn is done using a tool that we call as a cake. Uh, the cake is divided into three part the cake legs and the cake body and the cake head they are interconnected with each other in the waving process loose yarn will be stepped by uh, by will be stepped by fit yarn to be fabricated so for full pattern song cake fabric golden thread are stretched through gold thread piston to produce flower pattern embroidery or full pattern design decoration uh, for a pattern song uh, for a song cake pattern or scattered flower pattern gold thread are stretch to attempt to obtain the desired motif. Uh, so this process is repeated so as to produce a song cake clothes. Okay. Next is the pattern for the song cake. So basically there are six patterns for song cake, which is vertical stripe, isolated, chessboard, horizontal stripe, triangle shape, 
and food. So the first one is full pattern. So usually full pattern songke, as you can see, the songke, uh, the pattern is uh, fully cover the the clothes. So it's usually uh, wearing wear uh, during the wedding ceremony. So next is the isolated pattern. So for the isolated pattern, usually they use uh, it as a baju kurung. So so it's simple and not too crowded. So Next is the horizontal stripe pattern. That's a really, uh, for the horizontal stripe pattern, it's really to be seen in this uh, country because the, the pattern is not uh, friendly fashion because you need, to study, you need to study the fashion first to make the horizontal, horizontal stripe pattern fit the, the wearer, the one that wear the clothes. So next is vertical stripe pattern. Uh, so this picture is, uh, the prince of one of the state in the uh, country, which is a Pahang. So they they wear this uh, clothes using the during the swan of the king. So next is chessboard pattern. So we can see the chessboard pattern uh, usually uh, on some pen because uh, it look nice and simple. So next is triangle shape pattern. As you can see at the bottom of the uh, this man. Uh, they they use it as the sampan and that is a as a kain. So basically, the English shape pattern they suit they mix it with everything uh pattern uh before. So next is the usability of songke. Okay. Um, so song kit clothes is usually used for a variety of occasions and festivals and how to use the song kit fabric is also growing with a variety of modern fashion. So the patterns and motifs produced are also influenced by the era of circulation with a more contemporary style to make song kit fabric in line with today's era. The quality of a very high song kit fabric also allows it to be commercialized to the level of race and cause it to be able to be used in many areas. So uh, the first one is, next slide please. Okay, so as for the usability of song kit, usually the song kit are used uh, in royal ceremonies. So song kit is enthroned as the royal attire of Malaysian kings as it has interwoven class and honour in the Royal Institution of Malaysia. So in this picture, we can see that uh, the Sultan of Iraq, which is Sultan Nazrin Muizuddin Shah, can be seen wearing a full set of songkit during his enthronement as the Sultan of Pera in 2015. Next one. Okay. Other than royal ceremonies, the songkit can also be seen uh, in, during weddings. So normally, brides and grooms in Malaysia would wear songkit as the traditional wedding outfit on their big day. And it is a common practice in which the groom would wear a samping. Samping is the one that the groom is wearing that is made by songkit fabric and the bride would wear a songkit dress. Um, the next one, the next one is during festive season. So during festive seasons like Hari Raya, Aidil Fitri and Hari Raya Aidil Adha, aside from baju Melayu and baju kurung, which is the Malaysian most typical traditional outfit, uh, the songkit also has become the preferred choice of outfit for those celebrating these occasions. Although this type of fabric can be considered as a luxury fabric among some Malaysians. Uh, the older generation also believes that a raya celebration without the spectacle of songkit can be as dull as a beach without splashing waves. Okay, the next. Okay, accessories. So songkit clothes is not only used as a garment, but it is also used to produce kain ela. Kain ela is one of the materials used to produce various types of items or accessories such as tablecloth, 
cushion covers, handbags, souvenir items, and so on. So there is also a woven and tailored song kit that we use to produce customized accessories, including the tanja, the one in the middle, uh, that was previously worn by many Malay warrior, or also known as the pendeka. Okay, last but not least is wall panel. So this is quite an interesting because nowadays many interior designers have also come up with wall panel designs that were influenced by Songkit. So Royal Terengganu Songkit were used as a wall panel in the reception area and the presentation room at the CIMB Bank headquarters located in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So is that all? So that's all from us. Thank you. Thank you very much for very comprehensive uh, presentations. Yeah. Uh, my impression is uh, about the uh, Malaysian songket. Yeah, it represents the uh, something that really how to say precious. Yeah. Also very beautiful. <laughs> and looks so antique yeah uh, especially for the wedding ceremony we love it <laughs> mostly in indonesia we yeah yes we have many variety of the uh, traditional how to say uniform yeah uh, correspond to the how to say uh, region origin but yeah with the songket it looks so how to say so precious yeah so beautiful and yeah again no doubt uh, one time the songket used by the royal family, yeah, it's much more, more higher, yeah, uh, the impressions getting so beautiful. And I'm not sure, maybe the price uh, also not so cheap, right? In Indonesia for songket, even though for the low quality, yeah, the, the price is already, how to say, yeah, must be considerable. Uh, not so. Price, uh, uh, as you as you said, that the price is quite higher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, in average, how how much it's around the the prices? Like for uh, the some, for the something, yeah, they we wear as the outside of the outfit. Mm -hmm. So usually, uh, people sell it around one hundred five ringgit. Oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah quite quite expensive yeah almost uh almost higher I guess uh, with the prices here but maybe, uh, it would be depend on the uh, the material yeah. And also the 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 typical of uh, songket yeah that you've been prepared. But anyway, yeah, thank you so much for this uh, beautiful presentations. Uh, really love yeah to have one uh, for for festival for Hari Raya. Uh, Farah, just imagine if I come to the university with baju kurung yeah made from songket, <laughs> everyone will be surprising. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, it it's it's really beautiful in my opinion. Yeah, very very unique, very uh, antique. Yeah, in my opinion, also the pattern, the pattern. Uh, uh, so uh, regarding to the pattern, uh, is there any how to say the the typical pattern that that only uh eligible to be used, for example, by your royal family rather than for the common people there? Because yeah. the pattern is so unique, yeah, so so beautiful in my opinion. So basically, the pattern, uh, the usual pattern that have been used for people in Malaysia is full pattern. Oh. So, but for the royal family, they depends on the state, because mm. each state in Malaysia have their own uh, pattern that originated from the state itself. So, for example, Pahang, uh, they usually use the the what the horizontal uh, pattern for the swan of the any occasion from the royal family. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's uh, how to say it's Kesultanan has the own pattern, yeah, for Songket. Ah, yes. Pahang yes. in Perlis. Uh, ah, yes. So is there any special meaning regarding to the uh, typical of pattern on the Songket? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Not Sorry. sure, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just, just in case, uh, there, the, the, the is the typical meaning. So maybe, yeah, we we can consider, yeah, to, 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 to choose, yeah. Uh, one time we we need to buy the get back. Okay. 
Nurlaili Ghazali. Batik Ganu Kome. What is this? I just heard it. Uh, this also typical from Malaysia. Batik Ganu Chome. Ah, oh, I see, I see. So this typical from Terengganu, yeah? Terengganu, yeah? Hmm. It's also very similar to Songket, uh, Putri, no? Ah, Comel. Comel saya paham. Uh, comel itu apa ya? Cute, Bagus cute. lah. Cute. Uh, apa ya? Lucu mungkin ya para in bahasa. <laughs> A kind of, yeah. Imut. Uh, imut. Jadi kalau parah saya bilang comel, parah imut ya. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Uh, in, in Indonesia, there is no songket. Oh, we have we have many variety of songket as uh, the how to say invited speaker uh, presented ya yeah, in the in the session for for uh, traditional public. So actually, uh, we have many variety of of songket. Uh, yes, uh, similar to the Malaysia case. Uh, in in our regions yeah in Salabas, in sumatra kalimantan and other island uh, yeah it's very typical yeah very very typical each other in terms of pattern in terms the way how to prepare in term as well the how to say uh, raw material yeah that been used uh, uh, from the look we can easily yeah to distinguish this is from jaffa this is from Salabas, this is from that one But uh, I'm not sure for the royal family. Uh, uh, yes, they, they often use this kind of songket also, yeah. Mostly in, in Indonesia, many people use it for very official purposes, uh, yeah, as well for festival or for wedding. Uh, uh, but it uh, sometimes it correspond, yeah. If someone were, uh, how to say, uh, songket, we can reflect that the person who wore it has a lot of money yeah <laughs> jadi can can see how how, how rich they are uh, especially from from the pattern from the color yeah para i guess uh, uh, even though for for other access, accessories like for bag yeah for how to say in malaysia uh, previously in your presentation yeah we can reflect it because yeah again the pattern very typical the colors also yeah since uh, mostly they also made from Uh, uh, how to say a uh, gold uh, silk yeah or silver silk then yeah the apparency is very very how to say very precious so yeah we we we, we consider if someone use it yeah of course uh, since indonesia has really huge population uh, uh, the the artificial songket one also we 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 have yeah with the lowest price but very typical very easy lah to to distinguish yeah Yeah, and mostly for the important person, for yeah, for royal family as well, and in many formal occasions because uh, similar to Malaysia, we still have also certain uh, administration that uh, regulated or that uh, how to say governed by royal family. Yeah, they still want it. Yeah. Uh, pokoknya keren lah, keren yang pakai songket itu keren. And In my opinion, they must be rich, yeah, <laughs> because it's not so cheap. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I just imagine if uh, in in certain region of Sumatra, I guess, and Salabas uh, for the wedding ceremony, yeah, similar to Malaysia, they often use songket, yeah, as the how to say a uh, wedding uh, custom, yeah, for the bride and the groom as well as for the family, because yeah, uh, yeah, we can represent, yeah. Something that's really precious, really intimate, really unique, really beautiful in the special day. Yeah, we have that. Thank you, Najib and friend. Yeah, very uh, comprehensive uh, information you deliver on your presentation. And yeah, uh, we really enjoy your presentation. Okay, still any other comment from uh, participants? Okay, in such case, uh, in Malaysia, usually every man on their own songket. Uh, uh, I, I couldn't get your meaning, Najib. So means, uh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay. But anyway, yeah, the, the patients, uh, 
the the songket fashion yeah so 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 beautiful so beautiful really amazing yeah really amazing for us okay uh, we still have one group right okay hopefully the the group member uh, uh, to say uh, present today uh, i i guess we don't need to play the wheel uh, are you there for the group what group group I'm 10 from group 10 Oh, okay. So, uh, do you have any uh, introductions before we display your final project? Yes. Okay, please. Time is yours. I need to post the video first. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Bu Fitri. Hello, Bu Amel and Bu Mita. Uh, I'm Farah from uh, UPI Indonesia. Uh, I'm with Zaki, Nurul Aisha, and Ahmad from Malaysia, and then Trung and Hong An from Vietnam. We are from Group Ten, uh, so we are so we are going to uh, present you all the um, final project of uh, from our group. So uh, before the video, uh, we would like to present the poster of our final project first. Uh, can we share a screen? Uh, oh, sure. Sure. The sure, sure. We, we will close our our slide here. Okay, okay. please, Farah. Uh, I guess this is the surprise, yeah? <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, the poster for our um, video content, it's like an overview for our video. Mm -hmm. So the title is Exploring the Potential of Batik Art in Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, and, uh, and Vietnam for the Future Trend. So the um, the video contained the introduction for, uh, for batik and then the batik pattern from Indonesia, Malaysia, and Vietnam. And then the relationship between chemistry and batik. And then we have um, the technique for making the batik. Um, and then the batik recognitions. And lastly, uh, the potential uh, of batik in the future turn. So uh, if you want to read uh, for further uh, information on our poster, uh, we can share it uh, on the WhatsApp group. So you can read the information from the fact, uh, from the poster. Okay, um, and then we can move to the video. So, yeah. Okay, thank you for your great introduction, Para. Yeah, can yeah. be waiting yeah to follow your poster later on. Okay. Yeah, you can share the link or whatever in also in the chat room so everyone can easily follow. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, Fahabit, so please play the video now. Uh, can the video uh, share by the Oh, uh, yeah, this one? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Chum, and Hi, I come Chum. from Vietnam. Today, my group will talk about Baltic in three countries, include Indonesia, Vietnam, and Malaysia. In my turn, I will introduce to you about general information of batik and so on. Batik is an Indonesian technical of wash, resist, dyeing, applied to whole clothes. This technique originated from Java, Indonesia. Batik is made either by drawing dots and lines of the recess with a spotted tool called a decanting or by printing the recess with a coupon stem called the cap. The applied was resist dyes and therefore allow the artisan to color selectively by soaking the cloth in one color, removing the wash with pouring water and repeating if multiple colors are desired. The tradition of batik making is found in various countries. The batik of Indonesia, however, may be the best known. Indonesia batik made in the Iceland of Java has a long history of acculturation with diverse patterns in influenced by a variety of cultures and is the most developed in terms of pattern, technical and the quality of workmanship. In October 2009, UNESCO designated Indonesia batik 
as a multi beast of oral and intangible heritage of humanity. And next, I will talk to you about the philosophy of Batik, and Batik is an integral part of the Chavanese coast as as it grounds on the philosophy of spiritual display, a tradition that goes century back to the era of kingdoms on the island of Java. The term Batik is widely considered to derive from an ASEAN Javanese word Titi, meaning meticulously with aptly describes the way an artisan creates a piece of batik fabric. Indonesian batik has diverse patterns influenced by a variety of culture. Kaung Moti is a symbol of balance, stability, and idealism. Slowpok batik symbolize a request of the creator of form smooth basic of the spirit of the dead to the afterlife. Wooden lyrics party is a symbol of fertility so that it represents a hope for fertility of the harvest or the miracle of life for her husband and a wife. Tamban party symbolize the half of wellness so that its earphone used in coverings or blankets. Grumbum Bati represents a commitment to oneness in marriage. Those respected for their wisdom and virtue were the Siptonin Moti. Bati from Magetan district has basic motif of bamboo picture. The legend popularized Trintum Moti as a symbol of when a free awakening love, making it a favorite among rice and rooms. The distinctive feature of solo batik, often called solo batik, is having a lightly round, originating from Bali, Ulam Sarimas illustrate vivid motifs with image of green shrimp and fish, Bekalongan Mati, Bali Mati, Sirabam Mati are much influenced by Chinese culture. Bengulu Mati resemble a prebic letter calligraphy and piece of the holy verse of the Akoran. Malaysian Mati has developed its own characteristic over the years. Why Indonesian batik are detailed and influenced by religion? Malaysian batik has big floral designs. Malaysian batik colors are vibrant. Indonesian ones are dark and use a lot of brown. Vietnamese batik, the people die ferried by indigo fera, which can kill fever and detoxify. Its lip has an unpleasant smell after dying that can chase insects or litchi away. Then they complete the product by embroidering. The more geometric details such as square, circle, triangle, line, sisa mean the more their woman's blessing. There are some materials that are usually used in making batik such as wax, ties, and fabrics. So, here are some relationships between batik and chemistry by looking at the materials that are usually used in making batik. The first material is wax. The wax is applied on the fabric in order to have the parts or motif to be left unmade. There are some chemical compounds contained in the wax such as acetaldehyde, formaldehyde, crystalaldehyde, acrolein, and paraffin. Those chemical compounds are insoluble in water, so in the dyeing process, the motif that already painted on the fabric will not be dyed. And also, the wax can be removed by using hot water. 
The second material is dyes. The dyes are usually used to color the fabric. The dyes also contain some chemical compounds that are usually found as aromatic hydrocarbon derivatives like benzene, toluene, naphthalene, and anthracene. The third material that we are going to talk about is fabric. There are so many kinds of fabrics that are used in making batik, but the best kind of fabric that uh, can be used in making batik is fabric cotton. Because the cotton fiber, uh, which retains 24 to 27 its weight in water, um, breaks by absorbing and releasing moisture quickly. So, this absorbent quality makes cotton an easy fabric to dye. Hi! Okay, let's move on to the technique on producing batik in traditional method. We can deny that different countries have different technique, unique technique that on producing batik based on their culture and maybe it get inherited from their ancestor. However, in this video, we will to share on how common step in producing batik especially steps that have been used by Asian peoples from the Southeast Asia. Okay, okay. the first thing is that we need to know the, the type of fabric that have been used for batik. Mostly, uh, there are many types of material that we use for uh, producing fabric such as uh, cotton, uh, hemp, or other material that extracted from the plant or animals such as silk. The first step is drawing. How? The artisan will draw the motif based on the desired one or the inherited from the ancestor. So they, they, there are different types of motif that very very amazing. The second step is waxing to ensure the motif from become more visible and at the same time remain the color process of waxing can be done by cutting or using by stem. Amazing, right? The next process is dyeing. Okay, the artisan soak the uh, fabric into the dyeing liquid for several times until it produces desired color. After that, elementing the wax. How? The fabric was boiled under the hot water to remove the wax but based on the researcher said that by using the corn floor or soda bicarbonate we can readily remove the wax on the fabric okay after all the process finish the fabric need to be uh, rinsed and dried under the hot sun and ready for the commercialization imagine right the process Hello everyone, I'm Zaki from Malaysia. Nowadays, Bate has got a lot of recognition and I realize now Bate will give the big impact of world fashions. This is proven that Malaysia and Indonesia already success make international Bate fashion show to show how trendy and cool this Bate product and outfit. In addition, Batik product already sell in online market like Zalora, Lazada, and Shopee. And I strongly believe that Batik will give the big impact of economic, world economic, and generate income to the society. Lastly, I want to address it. Now people not only wear Batik, but people already make a research paper about Batik. For example, the National University of Malaysia and University of Malaya have been conducted re make a research paper about Batik. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay, hi guys. My name is Nur Aisha from Malaysia. Now I will explain uh, the protein about the potential of Batik for future trend. The first point is Batik as industrial player. Okay. Uh, one of the manager of North Alpha Batik uh, have said that uh, Batik worth more than tens of thousands of ringgit. This is show that Batik can support the economy in terms of gross domestic product and provide income to those 
uh, supporting industry. Okay, the second point is Batik as a competition center. Okay, uh, Batik have a very healthy competition where creativity mark the standard of Batik itself for the country to export their own Batik. Okay, the third point is the Batik as a cultural icon. Okay, as you guys know, the Batik motif itself reserve the cultural in the uh, about the country okay for example in Malaysia the motif uh, uh, preserve about the social lifestyle of the people uh, in Indonesia the motif uh, related to the spirit uh, culture and also the nature uh, for Vietnam the uh, motif uh, related to the Hmong culture which is uh, or, uh, which is based of uh, family and also spirit okay for the fourth uh, points is batik as a world heritage as you guys know batik have been recognized by the unesco uh, on 2nd october 2009 this is show that uh, batik is very very valuable and have big potential for the future not only in our uh, in domestic but also international level okay for the last Last point is batik as a contemporary fashion. A batik is not only wear by the by the citizen, by the uh, by the certain country citizen, but it also been already upgraded uh, to uh, not only wear uh, in their own country, but also be wear by the models uh, during the fashion weeks. For example, the New York Fashion Week. This show that. But it's very, very, have a very huge potential for them to grow bigger as a future trends. That's all from me. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Uh, everyone present in their own style. Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, Ahmad and Zaki like a lecturer. Yeah. Very confident, very nice, and also the style. <laughs> Love it, Zaki. <laughs> As well, uh, who, who's the uh, Nguyen? Yeah. Uh, with the voice, very cute, and Farah with so calm and the last. Yeah. Uh, everyone, yeah, really unique. So, really enjoy uh, the presentation and also very comprehensive information you deliver from from how to say from the uh, introductions of variety of batik from each country and then you even make uh, the good how to say comparisons yeah between uh, uh, batik types from originated from each country and the last year uh, also the the great view uh, in terms of how, how to say economical and social aspect yeah that can be uh, benefit yeah from from the batik industry okay everyone uh, any comment from Farah, Zaki, Ahmad, yeah, at all <laughs> uh, from the group 10, right? Uh, please, very welcome. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, yeah, with the Nguyen voice, it's so, how to say, chomel, <laughs> oh, very cute, like, uh, how to say, like uh, the, the narrator in the anime, yeah, the voice. So, so cute. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> how to say, setting my, my ear. Oh, who's speaking this one? <laughs> very typical. <laughs> yeah, also the video, very great. Yeah, and yeah, very, very happy lah to see uh, all of uh, the group member. Yeah, present. Thank you, Dr. Fitri. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, uh, after the graduate uh, graduations from uh, from uh, uh, your university maybe you can apply yeah and it, it's of you or participant uh, to be how to say the presenter you really has a great skill yeah all of you <laughs> uh, in terms of how to say uh, performance yeah uh, appearance and also uh, the way how to present very happy very glad yeah to have uh, to have uh, your uh, excellent presentations, yeah, uh, for all of the groups. Thank you, Dr. Pretty. And sorry for if there is any uh, misspell for the education or the information for our final project <laughs> presentation. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Farah. So, still have any additional information for from the member group or or from the participant side? Yes, Aja, that's right. This is really creative. Yeah, uh, it's really amazing. Uh, we have uh, more than 11 groups, but each group are very typical. Yeah, 
with their own idea and uh, it's variable each other uh, we really uh, glad yeah that uh, you can fulfill the outcome that we wanted to how to say to expect yeah from all of you uh, joining with our virtual summer school program thank you so much for your really great and excellent effort yeah big applause follow us it's really amazing amazing even though we are in the not only social distancing but also country distancing yeah but again uh, you can work effectively you can uh, fulfill your final project uh, how to say uh, very well yeah it's really how to say uh, actually i wanted to cry yeah to see <laughs> what <laughs> you've been uh, show uh, us yeah very excellent it's beyond of my expectation actually and then actually we still have several video that been prepared by your friend if you still still have enough time to join with us uh, we can show it now but just in case you you have another arrangement after this activity maybe we can post uh, the how to say the video in uh, our google classroom and uh, just in case you wanted to show so uh, do you have any idea for this because now already uh, 20 past 12. I, I bit worry just in case some of you still have a, a class here yeah, after this. Any comment? Any opinion? Uh, Bumita, how many video that we still have to be presented even though the group member not present today? <laughs> oh, we still have the video. Uh, uh, I guess we can quickly show maybe yeah, just in case they have no uh, how to say spare time later to show this and yeah again we can summary the the peer assessment yeah so everyone uh, please don't forget to put your response on the uh, peer assessment yeah because uh, in the in the end of this uh, session we will announce you yeah uh, the best uh, group performance <laughs> the best uh, final project and so on. Okay, so please enjoy this, this last two video, yeah? Drink. Some like it really, really strong. Some like it oh. Even I like it too. But most of us like it creamier. So let's for your information, this come from the group four, yeah? The then group stir. four. Oh wait, we Malaysians don't stir our tea here. We tare. See, everyone loves a te tare. Even though each of us has different tastes and interests, but in order to create and enjoy a good cup of te tare, we need to mix all these elements together. And same goes to us, living in this multicultural nation called Malaysia. So let's celebrate the taste of unity among us. Salamat Hari Malaysia from Bo Tea.
ada bo, ada um. I guess that's all from the group board. And then uh, we will quickly move to the last group that we have, the video. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. We will uh, talk about West Java Authentic Sambal, or we usually call it Sambal Has Jawa Barat. It will be presented by six group of virtual summer school program. Yeah. Okay, the members six. belong to Gilang Ramadan, Hananurul Husna, Kim Ismaya, Shiva Normalika, Sinta Purnamasari, and me, Rizmi Humairo. Okay, let we start it. Take it out. From the JJP condition, mostly West Java consists of mountains and hilly area. This condition makes the weather of West Java feel so cool and suitable to forming and producing variety of vegetable fruit spices and etc. This kind of greeny product it into the Sundanese cuisine. Sundanese cuisine, as the picture above, identic with spicy and soft food, which is suitable to eat with fresh vegetables and sauces. The first vegetable we call it larap, the green one above, and the sauces we call it sambal, the red one in the small bawak. So, what is sambal? Sambal is an Indonesian chili sauce made from a mixture of chili peppers with secondary ingredients such as shrimp paste, colic, ginger, salad, scallion, corn sugar, and lime juice. So we call it sambal if the main product of the mixture was the chili pepper. Sambal become one of the heritage of the Indonesians. Where does sambal come from? To answer this question, actually, it's a long talk, but it started from Maluku. Maluku, well known as the Spices Islands, this famous name make all the traders around the world come into the island to do trading. Trader come from Portuguese, Spanish, Indian, and Chinese. Besides the trader, they also introduced the local spices such as chili pepper. Black pepper, turmeric, salad, ginger, garlic, sauces, and etc. Indonesia makes a mixture from this all ingredient into the sauce that we call it samba. So, how we can make a samba? A traditional samba are freshly made using traditional tools such as spoon, pestle, and mortar. Take this picture. This picture was a stone pestle used to grain all the ingredients of sambal. Actually, sambal can be served raw or cooked. Cooked sambal or sambal masa has undergone cooking process which resulted in a distinct flavor and aroma. While raw sambal or sambal mentah are mixed with additional ingredients and usually consumed immediately. But, I guarantee to all of you participants that this kind of sambal is delicious, so you have to try this. Many kinds of typical with Java authentic sambal. This Java has many types of famous sambal. For example, like sambal pie, chili sambal, and sambal lemon. The first is sambal goreng. The ingredients of sambal goreng are cayenne pepper, jahe, and ginger, salt, and cooking oil. Next is sambal chili. The ingredients of sambal chili are in cayenne pepper, green tomato, salad, garlic, butter, and ginger, sugar, and salt. There is a sambal terasi. This is a typical chili sauce from Cirebon. Uh, we know that Cirebon is one of producer of simpas in Indonesia. The different with other sambal is there a Simpas in it. The, the ingredient is red chili, cayenne pepper, simpas, salad, garlic, salt, tomato, sugar, and cooking oil. Sambal oncom. The difference uh, with other sambal is there is oncom in it. The ingredient is oncom, basil, red chili, red cayenne pepper, salad, garlic. Salt, sugar, and cocoa. 
cooking oil. And the last one is their sambal bawang. The ingredients of sambal bawang uh, is red chili pepper, salad, uh, garlic, uh, salt, cooking oil, or vegetable oil. After we know the kinds of typical West Java authentic sambal, we can conclude that the main ingredient of sambal is chili. Now, we will talk about the content in chilies. What chemical compounds are contained in chili? There are a variety of nutrients in chili that are beneficial for health, including protein, carbohydrates, fiber, fat, and phytochemicals. Chilies are an excellent source of phytochemicals such as anthocyanins, vitamins, phenolic acids, flavonoids, carotenoids, and capsaicinoids. This is a table of contents in chili. There are two varieties of chili that will be discussed here. The first one is long red chili, and the second is small chili, or Sundanese people usually call it chengek. Based on this table, we know that the long red chili has the most moisture than the small chili. But in other five categories, there are energy, protein, fat, carbohydrates, and fiber. The small chili has the higher content than the long red chili. The next table are about vitamins and minerals contents in chili. This vitamin table show us that the small chili has a higher average vitamin content, especially in vitamin C. We all know that the vitamin C can maintain our immunity, so chili can be a source of vitamin C. The second table is about the minerals content in chili. Based on this table, we can see that both of these chili have a lot of potassium content. Potassium is one of seven micro minerals that needed by our body. Potassium can maintain our blood pressure and the buffer system in the body. Now, what are chemical compounds that are responsible for the spicy taste of the chili? The answer is capsaicinoids. Capsaicinoids are secondary metabolites that are naturally present in chili. These are a picture of five capsaicinoids, and the most common capsaicinoid is capsaicin, then followed by dehydrocapsaicin. The spicy taste of these two capsaicinoids are more higher than the others. Okay, for the next slide is about physical characteristic of capsaicin. Capsaicin has molecular formula. And its molecular formula is C18H27NO3 And its molecular weight is 305.4 grams per mole And its appearance is crystalline white powder Capsaicin has an odor Its odor is highly volatile and pungent Its solubility is soluble in alcohol error benzene and for your information, capsaicin has no taste or smell, but it acts directly on pine receptors. In our pine receptors, capsaicin produces a burning sensation in any tissue it comes in contact with. This is to prevent living things or animals from eating it, but it's not to prevent for birds. Yeah because birds are not affected by capsaicin. This is why many varieties of small upright peppers are called bird peppers. Yeah, because birds can eat them. Okay, I will explain about chemical sense of capsaicin. Why our bodies sweating, set tears, and feel pain when we consume chili paste? It happens because capsaicin in the chili will bind to TRPV1 receptor. As the result, the receptor will send the signal to brain to give a response to body such as tears, runny nose, as well as a sense of heat to make us feel thirsty. The higher amount of capsaicin in a pepper, the more there is to bind to your TRPV1 receptors, and the more intense your reaction is that 
is to that pet. The lowest one is bell pepper and the highest one is pure capsaicin. Yeah. How to get rid of capsaicin? We can reduce capsaicin by drinking water or drinking milk. But which one is effective? Based on structure of capsaicin, milk is more effective. Why? Because capsaicin has a hydrocarbon tail, so the, the structure is as non-polar. So non-polar is soluble in non-polar solvent. So that's why if we eat spicy food, milk is more effective to reduce it. Thank you. All right, that's, I guess, the, the end of, of the video from the group six. Really uh, mood weathering, yeah? <laughs> uh, so everyone after this, let's try to find sambal <laughs> for our lunch. <laughs> and yeah, that's all the video that been prepared by all group uh, uh, as the final project in this uh, Pietua Summer School program. So please, everyone, uh, kindly to, to put your response yeah uh, for the peer uh, test uh, assessment yeah for this final project and again thank you so much for really a uh, huge effort yeah that been done by all of you really satisfied with this final projects and yeah since uh, the group member of the last two group uh, not present here <laughs> so i guess uh, yeah we just have the how to say the uh, the communication within the group yeah talking about the spicy level and so on <laughs> yeah for, for me case actually i cannot stand over two maybe very weak yeah <laughs> but yeah others yeah even can stand over 15 yeah sometimes goes to level 30 or something yeah that's called as the <laughs> satan and friend yeah satan and friend level <laughs> so very very spicy is mean <laughs> yeah again yeah sambal also is very typical i guess not only in in java region but as well in other province yeah in other island uh, in my best knowledge is uh, the sambal come from uh, celibus especially uh, south celibus if i'm not mistaken that's even much more crazy than setan sambal, yeah. <laughs> One time, if you have any opportunity to traveling, yeah, uh, in the all of our regions of Indonesia, so please try sambal. But make sure your stomach is really in the good conditions, yeah. For me, case one time I consumed the spicy one, my ears getting ringing, yeah. So so it's very annoying, yeah. And my lips is like the swelling of a hundred thousand percentage. Yeah, <laughs> that's why uh, I love sambal. But yeah, the problem is the spicy. <laughs> Maybe uh, one of you can uh, make any innovation. Yeah, how to create sambal without spicy? <laughs> it's not sambal anymore, I guess. <laughs> okay, everyone. Huh? I like sweet sambal. Yeah, <laughs> no need lipstick. Just eat sambal. Exactly, not lately. But that's really worse. Yeah, for me. <laughs> Okay, everyone, uh, since um, I, I guess uh, we really enjoy this uh, meeting, but again, uh, limited by time. So uh, for this uh, wrapping this presentation, uh, on behalf of the committee, we are really, how to say, uh, happy. Yeah, we are really satisfied with uh, all of your final project. You show us uh, how, uh, how to say, comprehensively you prepare the content yeah and again with your full creativity yeah very typical each other is uh, looks like the how to say a compilations yeah of the great mosaic from all of your final project and uh, don't worry we will display this in our youtube channel yeah and the rest yeah we, we can uh, replay again and other of the participants also can enjoy yeah your final projects so thank you so much and big applause again yeah for all of you thank you so much thank you so much and yeah finally we come to uh, the second step of this uh, session so uh, we would like to proceed for the closing ceremony uh, who's uh, controlling the slide okay so could you please and then yeah uh, not more 
Okay, so just to remind you, almost one month we keep in touch. Yeah, uh, time flies so fast. Again, dear participant, thank you so much for your great uh, attendance. Yeah, for your great attentions in uh, every single day. Uh, just to remind you, this is the beloved speaker that we invited. Yeah, to deliver the lecture for all of us here. Uh, yeah, we've been received uh, many response uh, from all of you. Uh, yeah, hopefully uh, all things that we deliver, we organize here through this our Fitwa Summer School program uh, can be how to say fruitful, useful, yeah, for all of you, and uh, also can be memorable, yeah, uh, uh, to be how to say one of the uh, treasure, yeah, in your life story that we've been engaged in this activity. And we've been have a great time yeah, together for talking and sharing everything. So thank you so much for all speaker here. Uh, unfortunately, they have the, uh, the other arrangement. So for today, they, they couldn't join with us. But anyway, they send the, how to say, the great uh, uh, greeting for all of you. And uh, again, uh, thank you so much here. Yeah? For, for a great time yeah, uh, with them together. And then, uh, yeah, since uh, actually we have many pictures yeah, uh, already taken, but so far this is the best, I guess, uh, where uh, all participants turn on the video, yeah? But very lucky today, uh, almost all participants, yeah, uh, even though I can clearly hear, the voice yeah, of Trang, the voice of Nalaili and others. So very happy, yeah, very happy. So this, these uh, pictures, I guess, uh, how to say, uh, represent yeah, how happy we are uh, during the program. Uh, your smile, your really nice pose, Tarangi, yeah, and other pose, yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. This is really nice. This really, how to say, lovely, yeah, for us as well. And then, mm, Again, uh, many Kahoot <laughs> uh, games, yeah, we run uh, during the program. At least we have the nine Kahoot games. Just to remind you from the first topic, yeah, from Batik. So this is the summary uh, of the winner, yeah, for each Kahoot quiz. So this is for the Batik topics. And then next for the essential oil, yeah, with the Prop Asepta Daroma. And this is about the Lua coffee and then uh, with Pak Nijar, yeah, and this is with Pak Saipullah, uh, Indian dancing, you still remember? <laughs> uh, how, whatever the hardest of the life, uh, still keep dancing and keep happy, yeah, that's the main message from Dr. Saipul. Uh, yeah, he said with us about his great innovations, yeah, how to empower society, yeah, for the com commercializations of essential oil. Yeah, uh, we, we missed him already, yeah, and even he invited us, yeah, please welcome if you have any opportunity to visit his research center. Hopefully, yeah, someday we can visit together. And then next, uh, another winner is Jamu. Yeah, with very lovable uh, speaker, Ibu Fatma, yeah, my senior. Uh, yeah, we, we even, how to say, have the great interactions with her, yeah, to, uh, to guess uh, what type of the herb name, yeah, very challenging at that time. And then uh, we move again to the traditional fiber and fabrics, yeah, with Pak Widodo and Pananda, uh, the speakers with the longer, longest hair, yeah, so far, <laughs> very eccentric, <laughs> like in the cowboy movie, yeah, <laughs> very nice. We have many variety of the speaker. <laughs> yeah, again, here we also have the winner and then we move to the Garut letter, yeah, with Bugalu and also uh, Buheli, yeah. Also here we have the winner, and then uh, the T, yeah, with Pak Supriyadi from Gajamada University. Also, again, we have the winner, and uh, the final days, yeah. Even though some of you uh, couldn't join with us, uh, we still can can. Uh, how to say follow the lecture from Iwida, yeah. Uh, and again, here we have the winner. So congratulations for all the winner here. Now we are preparing for the present to be delivered. 
of course, uh, uh, we we will have the different way how to deliver the the present the token, yeah, for the Kahoot winner, for the local participant as well as for international participant. So we've been requested your complete address uh, for participant uh, who affiliated uh, that affiliated to uh, how to say uh, University Putra Malaysia for our conferences. Maybe we will drop yeah the present to one side so the rest please help us yeah to distribute the the token thank you so much everyone thank you so much everyone yeah and then here is the student with 100 percent attendance congratulations thank you so much for your great attentions and yeah uh, for the one uh, who really uh, to say uh, spending the time yeah uh, not only 100%, but could be 80% due to other activities. Also, we deeply appreciate yeah, your great attention. Thank you so much. And then here also the information that, uh, that we recorded. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. From the response, yeah, regarding to your comment and response uh, due to the, our program, we deliver you several questions and for, from all responses. So finally, uh, the vote goes to Ibu Dr. Fatma, Sri Fatmawati yeah, from uh, Surabaya Technology uh, Institute. Yeah, uh, yeah she, she, how to say, she, she received a great, uh, uh, how to say, attention yeah, from all of you. And most of you agree that she's the best <laughs> speaker so far yeah, for our program. Congratulations for us. Congratulations from Bu Fatma. I will deliver this. Yeah, as your appreciation to her. Yeah, later on after this program, and then and then uh, others. Okay, and then we still have other informations uh, from other computer. So regarding to the uh, best uh, to the presentation today. Yeah, we already how to say. Uh, uh receive all of your response due to the presentation today and here is the result uh wait for a moment still we do calculations uh i'm not sure how 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 many minutes you need already finished for the calculation not yet okay so you can display for us so Actually, all of you are the winner in my heart and in the committee's member heart. We love you. Yeah, we love you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your so great much effort. For yeah, and anyway, uh, everyone already give the vote and respond. So, so far from the all final project that you've been presented, here is the result. So, could you please say? Okay. Uh, who shared the, the screen? Okay, this come from the Ibumita uh, laptop. Okay, so here. Oh, we, we have we need the music, I guess. Yeah, Jackie. Da -da -da. <laughs> Who's the winner? <laughs> and then yeah, uh is it Ibumita? Okay, so this is the final response that we received from all of you, the best final project or final task. And the result is, yay! This is the first, how, how many? Oh, there's the second or the third? Oh, so this is so far the, the how to say the best, yeah? The best response that delivered by all participants. Congratulations to group 10. Okay, still we are calculating for other group, yeah, for the second and the third place. And then any other information, Bumita? Uh, to be said? Okay. So, uh, where is the group 10 member? Group 10? Okay. <laughs> Where is you? Me. Oh, maybe the 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 winner statement, yeah. Now is the winner statement. <laughs> so please, Jackie, Aisa, and friend, please deliver for us. Uh, just uh, yeah, just reckon we are in the big stage today, <laughs> and you come to the podium to receive the uh, the medal, yeah, from us. <laughs> so please. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, uh, let me start first. Okay, uh, just one word I want to uh, address it. Thank you for UBI to, uh, to make this program and this, this program is really, really great information for me, especially in uh, uh, poly That's it. Great program. That's all. Any other winning statement from other group member, please? Or uh, from the uh, the other participant, uh, you can uh, give your final comment to the to the winner, yeah, for the final project. Trang or Nguyen or other Nguyen? Yeah, uh, I saw okay. time phone for this uh, programs because. Uh, this is the first time I come, I join this uh, international class. Yes, and it's the first time in my in my country I I join online class. Yes, and it's so everyone in this so nice guy and I just want to do that. I so thankful and I so proud of you. Yeah. Thank you, Trang. Thank you, Trang. Nguyen, where is your cute voice? I would like ah. to hear. Yeah, very cute. Everyone, keep silent. Keep silent. Please, Nguyen, please. This is the only thing I uh, actually fell in love with you. Chomel, yeah? Setuju, yeah? Chomel, yeah? Nguyen, Chomel. <laughs> very cute voice. Okay, everyone. So, uh, uh, Bumita, I guess we can uh, take the picture. No, everyone turn on the video. It, it would be great, I guess, for us, just for our memorable moments. So uh, please, uh, how to say, keep your best uh, post, yeah? Yeah, we, we will print it this, and then we will display in our department office, yeah? For our first P2A summer school member. Okay, everyone. Where is your voice? Turn on your video, please. Okay. Bumita, please uh, support me yeah, for taking the picture. Okay. Yeah, you can have your freestyle. Uh, the best post that you ever had. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let I count it. Three, two, one. Nice. Okay. Oh, sarangnya nguyen very nice. I will I will keep it. Okay, another pose. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Any other recommendation? Oh, this one maybe yeah. Oh, oh Bumi, Bu Amel like this, but maybe this this one is better, kan? Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the last pose. Everyone, sarangnya. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, big applause for all of us. You are so great. You are so excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I have no better word yeah, to express uh, our gratitude for your great participation and also your great effort uh, during this program. It's amazing. You are really the amazing generations. Yeah? Very creative, uh, very responsive, uh, how to say as well. Very energetic, in my opinion. Uh, in every single day, yeah, we have very intimate uh, activities, yeah, with many questions, yeah, with the uh, invited speaker, yeah, that show us, yeah, how really energetic you are. So hopefully, uh, through this program, not only you gain uh, so many variety of knowledge about the natural products and also the crafts, yeah originated from our country, as well as the knowledge about the chemistry bit behind yeah, the ethno materials that come from uh, Indonesia. But also, uh, I guess the final outcome is uh, we have really great engagement each other. Yeah, You have many friends, not only from the same university, but also abroad, from Vietnam, from Philippines, from Malaysia, from Indonesia. So everyone, please keep stay in touch. Yeah, even though the program will be finished today, but we do hope we still keep in touch for any kind of purposes. 
wish you a better future and also wish you uh, how to say a great health. Uh, we promise next year we will organize uh, the same activity for Pitwa Summer School. Hopefully we can already back to the new normal and we are really love to have you directly here in Bandung. We will bring you to many places. Yeah, we will expose you yeah, to many new things about our city, about our country. So yeah, we do hope uh, we, we can meet again in really great time and also really great opportunity. Thank you so much. Yeah. And on behalf of the committee member, uh, we still a human. Yeah. Of course, I do believe during uh, the organization of this program, uh, there are some inconvenience due to the, the committee limitation. So we do apologize for any uh, obstacle, for any, uh, how to say, uh, inconvenience during this program. Yeah. And uh, actually, I, I don't want to stop my, my sentence because if I stop speaking, then we close this session. <laughs> so for final remark, just in case uh, all of you wanted to say something for all of us, please everyone open your mic. <laughs> Yeah, say your voice to us <laughs> before we close this Zoom meeting. Uh, on behalf of the committee, I just would like to say thank you so much. We love you more, more, and more. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day, and we will send you the uh, certificate for attendance, and especially for the one who who proceed for the credit earning. Again, now we are in the uh, process for the arrangement, and then we will share. Yeah, we will send. Uh, the certificate or the academic uh, information from uh, Indonesia University of Education. And for the one who still require any document for uh, to be submitted to your institution, uh, yeah, we are now preparing the document that requested and uh, we will deliver through the uh, your email address. Yeah, uh, stay in touch uh, anytime. We are very well welcome to have your voice, to have your greeting and even though to have your, uh, how to say, your story, yeah? your success story in the future. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Hey, everyone. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wish you a great day. Everyone. Stay healthy, everyone. Stay thank in you. touch. Yeah, Nguyen, Trang, Zaki, yeah, Putri, Farah, Aisha. Thank Nalai. you, Ibu. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Zaki. Thank you. Keep keep help. Yeah. Keep stay help, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Trang. See you again. See you again, everyone. Thank you, Nur Hamiza. Thank thank you. Nazib, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't want to say goodbye, but I want to say see you again. Yes, see you again. I never say goodbye. <laughs> never say goodbye. Unfortunately, we have we don't have any music yet. <laughs> uh, okay, see you again. See you again. Wish you, yeah, wish you a great a great health. Thank you, Jackie. My 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 uh, great uh, greeting for your lecturer, yeah. From the for Dr. Mustafa, Nathaniel as well. Yeah, for Nathaniel. Yeah, please uh, come back to Bandung next next year. Hopefully, Malaysia and Indonesia already Inshallah. better. Yeah, from the inspection. Trang, you never been traveling to Indonesia yet, Trang. Yes, right. Nguyen as well. Please come. Yeah, anytime. If you have any opportunity to visit Indonesia, especially Bandung, don't miss it to contact us. Yeah will be a great pleasure for us to support you here. Okay? Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Wong. Thank you, Nguyen. Thank you, Zaki. Thank you.